Hello, my hustas, my beautiful kings and queens. Oh, come on in, y'all. Let's get started. Uh, the movie today, the production is Beef Patties. Mm -hmm. Yes, I cooked that stuff today, baby. The director is Rice. The camera, of course, Dale at the moment is temporary. Uh, the scene is five. Take two. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snack. Let's sit and chat with this only one hood girl to the hood. Now, today, we're going to say prayers, and I'm going I'm to invite y'all to the table. Okay? Bow your heads, if you will. My God, I say thank you for another day. I ask that you bless my pastor. Not just my pastor, but every preacher, teacher, priest that's teaching your true word. My God, bless them with they, what they need to, to say it, to teach, to preach. Forgive us all of our sins that we committed against you, Lord, by any word, deed, or thought. Bless our families, our household our nation, that president. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful, healthy body and have your way, Holy Spirit, in our lives. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Mm. Hallelujah to the highest, okay? It was a good message today from my pastor. Uh, and the topic was, I owe it to me or you could say I owe it to myself and the word that he preached was stop looking back and it was about control out and delete control what you can alter what you should and delete the stuff of past stop looking back your future is before you. Okay? That's the message today. So, y'all. Y'all already see that, right? Look what's right here. Y'all, we're going to be uh, eating some good old beef patties in the oven. Mm -hmm. Oven gravy. We got some seasoned rice. And then, y'all remember about two weeks ago, maybe three weeks? I did those uh, great northern beans with the sausage. Okay, I'm going to say what um, eating good of Fab Five says, have not, won't not. Uh-huh. I took it out of the freezer. So my meal was not hard to cook today. And I really didn't want to cook today. I had a great weekend. My Oh, I had so much fun this weekend. Y'all know Dion, uh, my friend. Uh, her and her daughter came down. Um from Frisco where I used to live and uh, Dion spent the weekend with me as her daughter went to a, a birthday party for her best friend that lives here. And um, y'all, did that go to my drink? Did y'all see that? Well, I think it did. Ew. But look here. Uh, uh, I haven't posted my pictures uh, yet though but I took her to the boardwalk uh, right down in Kima we took a lot of pictures uh, we did some errands we uh, had a good Chinese food and y'all probably already saw that video no I don't think I put it out so it was good but it's hot y'all it's so hot What's, what's y'all heat where y'all are? We at 100. But you know, outside, it's 110. Oh, y'all. You know what? Beans, soup, gumbo, just off the top of my head. When you freeze it and you take it out if you don't leave it too long in the freezer to get it freezer burn. Y'all, this it it be so good and that season is just like on point, ain't it? How y'all doing it? Oh, shame on me. 
We ain't do no toast. And I ain't even give y'all the first bite. What the hell? <clears throat> Let's do this. <laughs> the toast today will be for the new week that's coming. Look forward, my beautiful kings and queens. Y'all already know what's coming. So, salut, salut. Let's sip, sip, sip this good hood stuff. Mm -hmm. That's one simple good drink. Three ingredients. Grapefruit, vodka, grapefruit, juice, a squeeze of lime. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all. I got right back to eating and I still haven't given you guys a bite. Shame on me. Y'all, I'm going to tell you something. I am, you know, this YouTube uh, channel, you can meet a lot of people, good and bad. I have a lot of people coming into my corner. Thank y'all. Hey, here you go. It tastes better, Johnny. I know. Yum, yum. Give me some. Oh, y'all want a piece of the beef? <laughs> oh, <laughs> me too. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's take a piece of this beef. Let's get some of that. Uh-oh, it, oh, it's so tender. Get some of that gravy. If y'all can see it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So what did I put? Let me show you. Y'all, I, I use so many seasonings. You know, when I season, you the food smells so good before it's even cooked. You know, so let's, let's just... I haven't did these in a long time because I was struggling with, do I want to do meatloaf or beef patties? And of course, y'all see I chose beef patties. So let's uh let's get it in. Mm. Do I need to tell you how? Okay, I will. <laughs> I use onion powder, garlic powder. Smoked paprika, chili powder, salt, Greek seasoning. I need to open up the cabinet. Ketchup, onion, and uh, beef bouillon, the powder. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's all. And then I let it sit for just maybe 30 minutes. And then I took one, two, three tablespoons of flour. Uh, I put some beef bouillon powder in the flour and then I did the seasonings as well in the flour. Okay. And then of course, you know, the water, I made it just a little before it gets soupy. And then I poured it all over the uh, patties and then I added some more water and I covered it with foil paper and I cooked it for 45 minutes. I, I did open up the oven because you know, the, the beef do um, make its own. Uh, grease, so I, I had to skim all the grease off as well because uh, you know it, it will clog our arteries. So I always do that, okay? But this is good. You know, I always uh, thank God for blessing my hands, you know, to cook. Um, everybody can't cook, Every, everybody's not supposed to cook, you know. Some people just fix food. And some people cook food. I cook food, but I fix the hot dog. You get that? Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell y'all again. All of you, thank you for your support. Thank you. Without, without, without eyes, where would we be? Mm-hmm. We need the views. Mm-hmm. We need the support. Yeah. I met some girls today and women. 
Well, I say young girls and grown women. At the yacht club, right? They were black people. And I had, you know, I told you know, we if we don't if we if my message don't go outside of my house, how how do people learn? How do you how do you spread the good news? If I can say it's the good news. So I preached to them, and that one of the one of the girls say, Oh my God, you are preaching to us. Yeah. I looked at all of them. Y'all some old cutie pies. Them little short, short sound. Y'all kind of fine. Beautiful black women. But pull them down a little bit. I'm going to show everything. Okay. Leave something to be desired. Okay. This weekend, I've seen so many people in shorts. Y'all know I wear my short, but I'm 57. I don't wear the booty shorts. I wear Bermuda. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, wasn't it? But the shorts that people wear today look like bathing suit bottoms. I know it's hot. But sometimes you got to leave something to be desired. You know, when you close the bedroom door wow and woo him with what he didn't see okay because if he see everything he's gonna be expecting what he saw mm -hmm. that's real talk my sisters it's okay to be sexy but you don't have to dress naked to be sexy because one thing I know about my, about me, I know I have a a sex appeal within me, and it's pure and it's true. I don't have to act like I'm sexy; it just is in me. I can wear a turtleneck, jeans, and boots, and my sex appeal still shines. Okay, I don't have to be naked or too revealing. For my sex appeal to come out. So what I'm telling you guys, we are some beautiful people. Yes, why well, do we have some beautiful bodies? Yes, we do. Thick and thin, it doesn't matter. But do you have to show everything? Mm hmm I heard a panel a couple of years ago of women, different races, different ages. And they were complaining when they walk on the street. Let's say I eat from um, construction workers. That's not, that, you know. And you know, they call out, damn, baby, you're looking good. And then they was offended. So the panel of people that were questioning them said, well, you, did, did you, um, did you look at the clothes that you wore and so you offended because the guys called out to you or yelled out to you some explicit things and you offended you don't think that it was your clothes and so the uh, uh, argument was you know it doesn't matter what we wear they shouldn't do it mm. well I was with the majority. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to hear that. But what more do you want? If you naked and you revealing everything, and these you know these men are sex people. They men have always been about sex, and you show them everything, and they say something. You can't be mad. You you came out the house looking like that. Uh huh. Is it right? I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't know. But the way you carry yourself, that's the attention you're going to get.
Should I say that again? The way you carry yourself is the attention that you're going to get. Mm -hmm. I got a twist in my hip that I was born with, obviously, and it is sexy as hell. I've got good attention and I've got bad attention. But it wasn't because I was naked. It's because the, the, the way, the way, you know, like my body, that's the way my hips do, y'all. This, this, this my hips. You know, it you know what? I'm going to walk for y'all. And I hope my computer catches it. So this is natural, y'all. This is not anything put on. It's not rehearsed. It's not rehearsed. But, you know, the hips do this. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I If my hips come back, let me walk away and see. If, okay. Yeah. This is the natural walk that I have that gave me good and bad attention. Y'all ready? So look, look, and I'm going to hold my dress. Look at, look, look at my walk, y'all. Next, should I do it again? Pay attention. Y'all see that? That, 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 ain't, that ain't rehearsed. I can't control that. It's natural. It's pure. You understand that? So sometimes a man's eye and his, 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 his you know, mm -hmm, it reacts. So I get good and bad attention. I don't like neither one of them because it ain't about my body. It's about this mind right here because I got a brilliant mind. So that's what I'm saying. And I don't know why this conversation came in my head. I don't even, I didn't even know. I wasn't even thinking about that. It just came. Wow. I got a sexy walk. And I got sexy pill to go with it. But I didn't choose it for myself. Okay. But I don't have to be naked that people can see it. Mm -hmm. So... And I carry myself like a woman. Because even a grown man in the line of a store, whether he's in the behind me or before me with the cashier, because I talk to everybody, honey. And I get yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. That is respect. Okay. That's respect. You ought to want it for yourself no matter what. And especially black people. Today, young, old, or indifferent, you better demand respect because it's our time. It's our season. It's our day. Y'all, I'm going to keep preaching that until we get it. And I have just a few seconds before my time has to be done. Again, y'all, every day you go out, even in your car, even if you're at the red light, wave at somebody, smile at somebody. Those are free. If you're in a store in the line, wherever, you know, if you see good shoes, good shirt, good, you know, good, good, you know, beautiful, just say it. You know, encourage us. You know, encourage us. Encourage everybody that you go in contact with. I'm telling you, it's going to spread all around the world. And I'm going to tell you all, it's going to be powerful. Because we are powerful people. Mm hmm So it's time to say goodbye. It really is time to say goodbye. Look here. We about to raise up. Mm-hmm. For real. I love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Let's sing ourselves out, y'all. Wait a minute. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you finish doing tonight, do it good. And please do it with love. Smile to your brothers and sisters to your left and right. And know that they are also...
kings and queens. Build them up. Yes. I love y'all. Okay.